Just a beautiful day on Lake Wishinew. Ended up with a nice variety of panfish. <laughs> Locked up on the Dead Sea. First fish of the day. What is it? Come on, be a perch. Be something cool. Be something interesting. Don't be a six inch walleye. Oh, I'll take it. It's a beautiful bluegill. Look at that beauty. So shiny and purple. <laughs> Something small on here, I think. Oh, well, maybe not too small. Let's see what we got here. Well, maybe it's got a little weight to him. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. It's a beautiful little white crappie. Pretty sure he's um, undersized, so I'm going to have to throw him back. But that is really cute. <laughs> there we go, number three, baby. It's starting to heat up a little bit. What do we got here? Panfish, please. What do we got here? He's starting to pull drag a little bit. Come here, Dangus. It's a bigger white crappie. Yes. That's a better one. That might even be a legal one. How about that? Hallelujah. <laughs> Beautiful white crappie. So that crappie was a legal crappie. It was nine and a quarter, which is too close for comfort. So I ended up uh, throwing it back. I don't like to keep them when they're right on the line. I don't know what I got here, but he's tugging good. It's a bass. Can't go a day of ice fishing without catching a ditch pickle. I got something really tiny on here. <laughs> what do we got? Small stunfish in the transducer. Well, you know what I say. That's small, but it's not tiny at least. I have big hands, by the way. There we go. whole school of them came up on me. On the bright jig, they won't. They don't want the the red and black. They want the fruity tooty color. Twenty five feet of water. It's gonna take a second to get them up. Feels like a decent one. It is a decent one. Nice. Look at that. There we go. There's a decent perch. Beautiful. There we go. There's another one. Finally. They're kind of roaming in circles around my hole. Please stay out of the deucer. I have too many clothes on to bend down and get my deucer out. <laughs> Feels like a keeper. We'll see here in a second. Oh yeah, she's a beautiful little gold chunk. Booyah, thick. There we go, there's another decent one. Not a hot bite, but steady bite. I'm in 25 feet of water, so it takes a while to get them to come up. I'm also only using three pound tests, so yeah. Just got to take my time, take it easy on them. And I have a leader tied on, so I don't want my leader to break. Beautiful, another beautiful keeper. Perfect keeper size, 10, 10 inches on this one maybe. There we go, got them. Finally. <laughs> up, up, up you go, baby. Another perch, hopefully. I love perch. Don't get too often, don't get opportunity to catch them. Not a lot of lakes around here have them. Oh, yeah, beautiful keeper right there. A little lankier than the others, but nice length to them, though. Good keeper. I think this one's a smaller one. Feels smaller. What do we got? Eh. Ah. You know, he's small, but he. I could probably fill you that. Blocked him out. I have a 
process here. There we go. Finally, got another one. Oh, this one's taking drag. A little bit. Yeah, it feels like a good one. I only got three pound test here, so I don't want to. No, no, the ice on my line is ruining everything. Shoot, no. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. <laughs> that was a disaster. The ice wouldn't let my line go through the little thing on the bale. Whatever you call it, that little notch. Almost lost them. Nuts, man. Better perch. Oh, yeah. That's a juicy boy. <laughs> Almost lost him. Nice quality 12 incher. <laughs> Nailed him. Ooh, he's taking drag. I don't know what this is. This might not be a perch. Uh, this feels like a big one. I'm getting off my bucket for this one. Getting the transducer out of the way. Still on. We're good. I got a good one, Keith. He's taking drag. <laughs> Let's see how big he actually is. Oh, he's not that big. It's the biggest one of the day, though, so far. He's probably 12 or a little bigger. Nice. This one absolutely slammed it. Holy cow, did he hit it hard. Let me get this deucer out before I lose him. Got a leader on this rod, and it's only three pound test leader, so I gotta be careful. Nice eater perch, beautiful. Nice, beautiful 11, 12 incher, something like that. Cool. I don't know what I got here, but he was in the middle, not on the bottom. I was trying to get the ice off my line, and I noticed he was right on me on the flasher. I wasn't paying attention. What do we got here? It's another perch. He was just in the middle, not on the bottom. That's cool, though. That's a beautiful eater right there. Beautiful 11-incher. Oh, I finally got him. This... This fish took about an hour to catch. It got way slow. Drilled a bunch of holes, blah, blah, blah. What is it? What is it? What be? It's in the deucer, that's for sure. What we got here? It's a nice, nice quality perch in the deucer. Oh, there we go. Nice. This one took forever to catch. Holy cow. This guy hit it so hard. He's taking drag too. Oh, this is a good one. Oh my gosh. He obliterated it. It's weird. It was like a cold front bite or something came through for about an hour there. This is a good one, Keith. He's taking drag. Come on up, 25 feet of water, baby. Yeah, girl. This has got to be a good one. Got to be a good one. Come on. Yeah. Nothing huge, but... Man, thick little guy. 11 and a half, maybe. There we go. Finally picked up another one. Feels like a small one to me. Smaller, at least. We'll see here in a second. Oop, yep, first throwback of the day. And possibly the last. We're running out of time. So this trip I've been using my Ice 55 Flasher, as well as two tuned up custom rods bull whips, both with crappie mox reels and three pound mono. And on one I have an orange and chartreuse ice dot tipped with a waxy. And the other, I have a red and black ice dot tipped with a waxy. And that's the deadly combo.
Meant to say it was the first perch throw back of the day. I also threw back both crappies and the bass. Anyway, got myself a bucket of frozen panfish.